I'm speaking to you from Portland, Oregon, and today is the day I'm finally gonna go out and be a tourist. <laughs> I haven't done it in a while, but I really love like urban walking. I love not having to drive from point to point. So, hi little baby. <laughs> Can I cutie? <laughs> but it always comes with the fear of having my car broken into. I think walking a city is such a perfect way to experience it, so Portland is definitely a city I want to get to know. I am nervous though about where I left my car. I didn't, I don't know. It's, it's a gamble, really. <laughs> for introducing me to what a London fog is. I've been missing out on like a delicious yummy beverage. The building's getting torn down. That's so crazy. one of the cooler things I've seen. It's just so crazy watching that and the sounds. It was just, it was insane. That was so, so cool. Oh, all right, so we've made it to the first major stop of the day. Ah! It is the world's first vegan mall. Scapegoat Tattoo, the only vegan or first vegan tattoo parlor, which is amazing. I was talking to uh, the woman at the front and apparently transfer papers, inks, you know, obviously leather. These are all very, very common tools in tattoo parlors. So it's so cool that they're vegan and they gave me a sticker. <laughs> so very, very cool. That's the first stop in the vegan mall. to get used to all of these murals. They're amazing, but very, very interesting. Very Portland. Feels very Portland here. It's got a very distinct hippie <laughs> vibe. <laughs> theme it was super cool their beers were kind of like sour focused almost but I had this really good it was called the uh, moon dog yeah the moon dog and it was it was like a chocolate infused no it wasn't oh my god I'm terrible it was like um, it was like a lager but it was dark like a porter it was so crazy it was really really good and now I'm gonna walk to my next destination which is kind of far from where I am, but it's a beautiful day. I'm in high spirits. I just talked on the phone with my friend Jess, and that was really nice. And I'm having a good time so far. Yeah. Okay. I'm packing minimally today as far as my vlog setup goes. I just wanted to not have to carry a whole lot on me. So I'm basically just using my lenses and my phone today. No tripods, no nothing, because I'm going into like mostly a, like private establishments, like business establishments, where that sort of thing just feels weird and wrong and awkward and I don't like to, I don't like to do it. And my tripod's broken. Anywho, yeah, just 
just so you guys know, you know, now that I've shown you guys my setup, I think it's kind of interesting maybe to show or to let you know what I am actually using in each video. So yeah, I'm going bare bones today. Triple sec orange liqueur. You may have had this in margaritas, Long Island, Cosmos, lemon drops. Just a splash for flavor. Now I'm going to fire it. So the evaporation of the fumes from the evaporation, rather, of the alcohol exposed to air fuel the fire. It's feeding up the fumes just like in a gasoline fire. This is just for show since you're having the ice. Well, thank you. You're very welcome. Kahlua is next. This is a delicious Mexican pop of the porch. Cooper's Cafe is the largest direct independent user of Kahlua in the United States of America. Down to the quarter, now I'm going to fire it in. This is the firefall, or the fire stream, into the ice. Dark Colombian roast coffee, and then heavy whipped cream upon that. Okay, nutmeg, delicious South Pacific spice, and that is an iced. Spanish coffee for you to enjoy here at Huber's Cafe. Welcome to Portland, Oregon. <laughs> Thank Cheers you. To you. Oh my God. <laughs> Woo. I'm going to need more coffee eventually. Good. <laughs> that Spanish coffee. Whoa. <laughs> Woohoo! You almost got me. That's real sweet. About your guys' tips. Use your Italian. Oh, that is so weird. Yum. Normally I don't like non-meat to pretend like it is meat, but this is really good. It's really weirdly satisfying and it's totally vegan. It's crazy. Food truck culture is huge here, so I thought it was sort of um, necessary that I go to a food truck at some point or another. Mmm, yum. this um, problem where I really like free people 
<laughs> so I'm gonna go in and look. I'm not gonna buy anything, but I can at least look. Hi there, how are you? Good, how are you? Hi. listening to this right now. I'm like halfway through. It's awesome. been a very fun filled day and I'm about to return to my dearest Minnie I see her off in the distance and I'm actually expecting a phone call from my friend Taylor so I look forward to just sitting in my car and chatting away for a little bit and just chilling and enjoying some air conditioning because I have been outside in the hot summer Sun all day but it has been a very fun filled day. It, it's been really nice. I really feel like I have seen a good amount of Portland at this point. All in all, it's been very fun. And I am so excited to really delve in to how I really feel about Portland because I am making a Portland versus Portland video. And I'm gonna compare and contrast by the way, my car is A-OK, -okay. look at her. No one broke in, hallelujah. Yeah, okay, well, um, I'm gonna end today's video here. I hope you enjoyed it, I, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. What kind of videos do you really like to see from me? Okay, I gotta go, bye. <laughs>